it, I mean, part of the point of coining the term of art, socially available free time, which after all is my invention for better or worse, uh, was precisely uh, to shake people out of the assumption that they know what free time means. But what tends to happen instead is that people just drop the socially available and just paraphrase me as talking about free time, and then it's leisure time, and you're totally lost. Like, that's the problem. I mean, because the socially available is extremely important, because that's supposed to, like, remind us that, like, the form in which we can live out our freedom is always socially and institutionally constituted, you know? So that, like, for us to more fully actualize our freedom has to do with how we're socially habituated in the first place and how, and, and how we are socially formed to engage that question. Uh, because there is a dimension of freedom always, like whatever you're doing, you know, what you're doing, there's always a why, a sense of why you're doing it. Like, we can't, there's no sense in which we're free. Whatever you're doing, you, you can always ask the question, why are you doing it? And you can say like, well, because, and you can say like, well, because I have to make a living, because it's profitable. The point is that those are not very good reasons you know, and for us to have better reason, we'd have to have different social institutional forms in which we come to give answers to those questions. And our time would be more free the better reasons there were for it, you know. It's like, oh, because it is for this common social good that I recognize, or because X, Y, and Z, this is meaningful to do, because I'm committed to, even though it's hard, and even though I have to get up early in the morning. You know, then I'm more free because I can actually own the reasons for why I'm doing what I'm doing. And part of the point is, uh, so that's, that's, all of that is baked into the socially available. Uh, it has to do with the justificatory, the institutional, social, all of those things. And that that's actually, and that would be true, that's, and that's actually true even when you're uh, eating that pizza and watching that movie. The qualitative experience of that is that like, whether you're like, you know, why are you doing this, Anthony? Why are you kicking back tonight? And it's just like, because, you know, because I'm tired, uh, because I couldn't think of anything better to do. That's like, that's qualitatively impairs that experience compared to the moments when you can ask, you know, like, oh, because I have really made time to relax tonight in view of like the overall rhythms of my life and the way I sort of live out my commitments. It can make perfect sense and it could be affirmed as a free activity. But we all know that you can also feel like horribly sort of like unfree, deeply sunk into that couch you know, even though you technically have leisure time. And that has to do with, because like when you ask yourself, like, why are you doing this, Martin? Like, oh, because I don't know. Like, uh, uh, because, because, because is the weakest form of reason. But it shows that like the reason is always a question for us. We can't just say like, even when we would say like, oh, oh, forget about the reason thing. It's so demanding. Like, forget about reason. You can't. And it's, Betrayed by just this phrase, because, you have to answer somehow. And it's just, just because, just because. But that's a low degree of freedom compared to like, because I want to make time to spend this evening with Alisa in our relationship and we're like eating pizza. That's a much better reason than like, just because I've forgotten even what I'm doing with my life and I can't make sense of it anymore. Uh, yeah. Well, as you can all see, Martin is really only getting going at this point. Um, sadly, <laughs> sadly um, we, we have to call a halt at this part of the evening. Um, but as I said at the beginning, Martin will be outside. He'll be signing books. He'll be willing to chat. He'll be willing to... You are free to ans ask him even more questions. And you are also free to drink our free wine and uh, beverages, etc. Um, paid for by capitalism at some level, but there you go. Uh, but yes, thank you all for coming out. Thank you also thank to Yulin and Natalie. Um, and thank you also to um, external engagement for, for helping to fund this and, uh, and to, to, to the University of York. And um, thank you all for coming and I hope you've enjoyed the evening.